Hello, Brad here. As mentioned in my last video, I wanted to share how I created a Let's Encrypt certificate on Windows IIS. How I did that was using the WinACME application and I created a Let's Encrypt certificate by using the Cloudflare DNS validation method. So how we get that done is I'll show you how we download the WinACME client and the Cloudflare plugin. We'll then create an API token in Cloudflare I'll then run the uh, utility uh, to request a Let's Encrypt certificate and show you how that wizard works, and then we'll test accordingly. And of course, disclaimer here, I'm setting this up in my lab. Uh, if you're replicating what I'm doing in your environment, you'll need to make uh, security considerations whether you should be using a Cloudflare API token and how you're creating that and storing that. Uh, if you should be using the Let's Encrypt service, and also uh, when I create a certificate, I'm going to create a wildcard certificate. There are pros and cons on why you should or shouldn't be doing that. And with that said, I'll switch over to the lab and show you how it's done. So here we are in the lab. I've got a web server I've created offline running IIS as you can see. And this web server doesn't have a TLS certificate present. It's just listening on port 80. So we're going to fix that we'll use the WinACME application here. And what the WinACME application does, it automates the generation of uh, Let's Encrypt TLS certificates. Now Let's Encrypt have a number of methods on how you can validate that you own the domain that you're trying to create a certificate for. Uh, in this case, I want to focus on the Cloudflare API method. And the reason for that is, is because I don't want to expose this web server to the internet. I simply just want to create a DNS record in Cloudflare using the Cloudflare API so that we can prove we own the domain and therefore the Let's Encrypt certificate gets created. And I'll also pause here. There is a method that we can use the WinACME utility to uh, renew and create certificates with Benefy. I'll put a link in the description of my colleague explaining how that works. But for today, we'll use Let's Encrypt and Cloudflare as a DNS validation. First, we need to download uh, this application. Don't use this download button up here. We need to download the larger download for plugin support because in this case, I'm using the Cloudflare API method. So I'll just click on that. And then I'll open this up in a new tab, the Cloudflare here. And I'll go to the releases page for Cloudflare. And we'll download this package here. So I've got these two files here. Next, I need to create an API token in Cloudflare. Click on create token here. And I'm going to create a custom token. We'll give it a name. We'll select zone, zone read, so we can read the zone. And then we'll select zone here and then DNS. And we need to be able to edit the DNS. And I'm going to include a specific zone and this domain here. This account has multiple domains in it. I only want this API token to be able to create DNS records in this zone. And of course we wanna lock this down to the source IP where the web server is. So I'll select this. And to grab your source IP, a handy command is this one here. And we can just curl ipinfo.io and I'll grab this IP here. Got that there. And we'll continue to summary here. And I'll create the token. And I'll copy this token as we'll need it later in the video. So next I'll go and log on to that web server and I'll transfer the files we just downloaded and run the script. So I've switched over to the web server here and I've created a folder in the C drive uh, and transferred those two files we just downloaded. First, we need to extract this file here and I'll just extract that to the WinACME folder. Next, I'll extract the plugin for Cloudflare. Just put that in the default plugin folder that it's uh, named itself here.
And next we'll edit the settings underscore default here. And scrolling down in here, we want to look at the DNS servers here. So if we leave this as a default setting here, you will encounter a problem. And that problem will be where the script won't know if it's created the public uh, DNS text record to validate the domain. And the reason for that is the system DNS, in my case is Active Directory, and Active Directory is uh, authority for the domain I'm trying to register. So you can either leave this alone and let the script time out and um, it will work eventually, but it will take longer, or we can replace this with some public DNS servers, in this case, Cloudflare, so that uh, it can detect if the DNS record's been created. And of course, this might not be allowed in some environments where you might restrict all your DNS records to go via the domain controllers as a good security practice. Uh, but in this case, it's a lab, so um, uh, it doesn't matter in this environment. I'll just close and save this. So next, I'll open up PowerShell as administrator. And we'll run the wacs.exe. And we'll select the letter M for Mike. I'll select number two for manual input. Uh, the host name that I want to generate in the certificate is the wildcard for the domain I'm trying to register. And of course, there are pros and cons of using wildcard certificates. I'll leave that up to you to decide if that's right for you. But in my case, I'm going to proceed. We'll just select enter to go with the friendly name of uh, the certificate uh, of the name I've just entered. We'll select the default of uh, four here that, to create a single certificate. And next we're going to choose which method uh, we're going to use to validate our domain ownership. Now this uh, item here, number six, will be grayed out if you haven't um, extracted the, the Cloudflare plugin that we downloaded earlier. Uh, and if you've downloaded other plugins, they'll become available here. So I'll just select number six. Next, we'll select number one to paste in our API token that we created earlier. Let's paste it in. And in my case, I'm going to save that to the vault for future reuse each time the certificate needs to renew in the future. Next, we'll select the default of RSA key. And next, we'll select the default certificate store. Next, we'll create a binding in IIS. So I'll select the default of one, so I'll press enter. And in my case, I've only got the default website present, so I'll select number one. If you had other websites, it would list them here uh, if they were present in IIS. And we'll select the default here. I have no additional uh, installation steps. So I'll select the default here to accept the terms of service. And we'll press Y here to accept the terms of service. I'll enter in an email for notifications. So I'll just pause here, it has created the certificate. I'll just quickly go over what it did. It created a text record in Cloudflare, uh, as you can see here. And then the script tried to validate if that uh, text record was present. It took a couple of goes and eventually that was successful. Uh, then once it was successful and uh, the certificate was authorized, it deleted the record and downloaded the, downloaded the uh, certificate. Of course, this certificate is only valid for 90 days. So we have a scheduled task that was created uh, that will run every day to uh, check that if we need to renew the certificate. And if it needs to renew, uh, it will do so. Uh, we then have a question here. Do you want to specify uh, the user the task will run as? I'm just going to select the default of no. And then we're done. So if I just quit this menu and I'll clear the screen, if I go back to IIS and if I edit the bindings here, we can see the binding here is present and we can see that certificate. I can now remove port 80, of course, so I'll do that now. And if I go back to the local workstation, 
and modify the URL. We can see the connection is secure. So there's a wildcard certificate as expected, uh, signed by Let's Encrypt. And back on the web server, I'll just open up Task Scheduler. We can see the Win ACME Renew Schedule tasks that we run at 9 a.m. every day. And I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.